But howdy, and welcome to the Tea Weasel, where we pair teas with movies. Today, we will be looking at... Hate your hair. Not likely. Yikes. 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 And let me guess, you have a great personality. That's right. You guessed it. The Emperor's New Groove. Disney's greatest fourth wall breaking movie. It captures the heartwarming adventure of a llama and a peasant. Only this time the llama is a human turned into a llama because of the bad label on the poison for Cusco. Poison, the poison for Cusco, the poison chosen specially to kill Cusco, Cusco's poison. The kingdom in this movie is actually based off the Incan Empire, which is located in South America. South America. It's like America. The Inca Empire actually spread a lot during its time, until the Spanish came with their diseases and killed almost everybody. By 1533, the entire Incan Empire had collapsed. There are still some Incan descendants alive today, located inside Peru, in a city that I'm going to pronounce as Cusco because I don't know how to pronounce it. There they drink many different types of teas. The one I got is a coca. Tea. And my infinite dyslexic ability, I got a different tea, which actually kind of works out because the coca plant makes cocaine, and I don't think I can get that in Japan. How did I mix coca and cacao around? I have no idea. My brain is a broken like that, who knows? Even writing the script, I typed it correctly, but when I looked for it, I read it incorrectly and bought it and made it and tried it before this video. It's like, yeah, it's a little boring. Let's see if I can jazz it up. And then I realized what I did wrong. Again, my brain is broken, sorry. Tastes like watered down hot chocolate. Hot. Make sure it's a spoiler proof mug because we're about to talk about this movie. For those of you who have not seen Emperor's New Groove, here's what happens a young, mildly narcissistic emperor named Cusco fires his really old advisor, Yzma. Hey, everybody hits their stride. You just hit yours 50 years ago. She doesn't like this, so with the help of her assistant, they plan on killing Cusco. Or, to save on postage, I'll just poison him with this. Earlier that day, a peasant named Pacha comes to visit Cusco. Cusco tells him that he's going to do the government thing where they take the land from the people that live there and don't reimburse them. Fun times. Crunk makes a delicious sounding dinner. Start off with soup and a light salad, and then see how we feel after that. And Crunk saves his spinach puffs. Is something burning? <gasps> My spinach puffs! Saved them! Cusco gets turned into a llama. To your long and he oh, what are you gonna do? I mean, you've been around age, adjusting to life in the private sector. Hey, Crunk, can you top me off, pal? Be a friend? I mean that in the best possible way. Crunk then tries to dispose of the llama body, but because the movie has to happen, Cusco's llama body ends up on Pacha's wagon. Pacha discovers the talking llama is Cusco and lets him go into the jungle alone because he won't let him keep his house. Cusco makes a louder noise, waking up a bunch of panthers. And he runs away, only for Pacha with a heart of gold to go and try to save him. Uh oh. Don't tell me. We're about to go over a huge waterfall. Yep. Sharp rocks at the bottom? Most likely. Bring it on. Cusco <laughs> discovers that Yzma tries to kill him, and they are both running back to the castle so they can go to Yzma's secret lab to undo the potion that turned him into a llama. And somehow they both end up there at the same time. Gampy, how did you get back here before us? Uh, uh, how did 
need to be, Kronk. Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Yzma being the most villainous villain that's ever villained insults Kronk's spinach puffs. Luckily, there was a gift from above. Now, now, remember guys, from above, the wicked shall receive their just reward. That'll work. That did nothing. All the potions get mixed up and it's a race to see if they can get Cusco turned back into a real boy again. But everyone's just kind of okay with this. Well, except for this guy. Hey, I've been turned into a cow. Can I go home? You're excused. Anyone else? No, no we're, we're, we're good. good. We're good. gets turned into a cat and her voice doesn't change at all. Looking for this. Is that my voice? Is that my voice? Becomes a human again and takes back over his empire. Pacha made a new friend and gets to keep his house. Kronk becomes a Squirrel Scout leader and has the most adorable new Squirrel Scout. Squeak, 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 squeakers. Squeaking. And that's this movie in a nutshell. Again, I absolutely love this movie. The stakes are low and the humor is high. The fourth wall breaks don't kill the pacing and only add to the humor of this movie. The movie itself doesn't take itself seriously at all and it is hilarious watching it. This is probably one of Disney's most quoted movies and I love it. Even nowadays I find myself saying, right. Frank. Right. I know I did the whole dyslexic thing when ordering the tea, but honestly I think it kind of fits. The entire movie is enjoyable, and so is this tea. The movie is silly, sweet, and lighthearted. The tea is slightly sweet, lighthearted, tastes good, likes long walks on the beach. It's not the tea I was planning on getting, but most likely if I do Crunk's New Groove, I'll actually get a correct tea from Peru. Maybe two, just to make it up to you guys. Anyways, as always, there's a link in the description where you can rent or buy this movie, just in case you don't have Disney+. Plus. And until next tea time, watch a movie and have a relaxing cup of tea.